a literature review is the first step you need to undertake if you're planning to do research, either for a project report, a research paper, or even a review article. Now, most of us will go by traditional methods, where we will open Google Scholar, type down our topic, and then go through the long list of papers that Google Scholar shows us. Not knowing which papers are most relevant or most cited out of all the literature that is available. This process alone can take us somewhere from a few days to a few weeks to shortlist the best papers in our field of interest. But not anymore because in this video I'm going to share with you an AI tool that is going to make your literature review process a lot better, faster and much more effective. Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal, I'm the founder of Wise Up and on this channel I make videos on studying abroad, job readiness, research mastery and communication skills, essentially all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your careers. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now, let's learn all about this amazing AI tool for literature review, Consensus. Consensus is an AI search engine that helps you search for the most relevant research papers in your field of interest. To explain it to you in simple words, it's like marrying Google Scholar with the power of ChatGPT. Today if I ask a question on Google Scholar, it's not going to give me a consolidated summary or even an analysis of the most relevant research papers. It is simply going to give me a list. On the other hand, if I ask a question on ChatGPT, God knows where that information is coming from. With consensus, when you ask a question with a scientific core to it, consensus will go through over 200 million plus research papers in its database and give you a research-backed answer to your question. This will not only simplify your literature search process, but also give you the confidence that the answer you're getting is correct and genuine. No wonder 1 million plus researchers from the top universities around the world choose consensus for their literature search process. So now, let me quickly walk you through the tool and show you some of the amazing features that you can utilize as well. So now I'm on the consensus website and I'm going to type a question from my research field which is, are nanoparticles useful in creating super hydrophobic antibacterial fabrics? For now, I'm going to keep the synthesize and co-pilot options switched off and I'll show them to you later. So now if I click on search, can you see a list of papers are now shown on my screen and some of these are highly cited papers as well. Can you see if I click on highly cited it shows it's from a paper in the top 5% of most cited papers in our database. So not only am I getting relevant papers but also some of the most cited papers from the database. In fact, I also want to show you something which is a study snapshot. Where can you see a gist of the most important information from the paper along with key differentiators such as population, methods, outcome, results, everything is given. So if I don't want to go through each individual paper but just want to see what are the major differentiators between each of these papers, I can simply open the study snapshot and go through it as well. Now, if I want to cite this particular paper, I can easily copy the citation from here or I can also save this paper. So for that, I'm going to create a new list of super hydrophobic antibacterial fabrics and I'm going to save my paper here, which I can refer to it later. Or say, for example, I want to share my papers with my colleagues or with my professor, then I can simply do it from here as well. In fact, if I'm happy with the overall search result that consensus is given and I want to directly export it to my reference management software, then I can do it from here by exporting any of these RIS or CSV files. Also, another great option in consensus is to filter out the content. So here, all the papers that I'm getting, I can choose to filter them also based on the year since when they have been published, whether they are open access or not, number of citations that they have received or even based on all these methods, journals, domains and even country. This can help me refine my literature search and focus on what I am looking for. 
Now, if I switch on the synthesize option, then consensus is going to give me a summary of all the papers that it has analyzed and what is the popular opinion among the papers. And along with that, it is also going to give me a consensus meter, which means that based on the question that I have asked consensus, how many of the papers are of that opinion, how many papers are against it, or how many papers are not 100% sure of the question that I am asking. This particular feature can be really useful during your literature search process when you're stuck, you have a confusion, and you quickly want a research backed answer to clear your doubt. Now another amazing feature of consensus is Copilot. So if I switch on Copilot here, it's going to give me a consolidated response to my questions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an additional prompt here to give you a better understanding. For example, can you give me a pros and cons list of this? And I'm going to search again and consensus will go through all the information in the papers and then summarize the answer for me which is most relevant to the question that I am asking. And because I belong to this research field, I can tell you that this answer that consensus has shared is actually quite accurate. In fact, it is also going to give you a list of references of the papers that it has referred to to arrive at this answer. Or let me try with another prompt, I can also ask it can you give me an essay outline on this? And there you go, consensus will prepare a well drafted outline for your essay. What I really like about consensus is that while other tools will go ahead and write the entire essay for you, consensus is only going to share with you all the information that is necessary and it will leave it up to you to decide how you want to utilize this information and present it in your work. So guys, I hope you all found the tool useful. Personally, if I had known about consensus during my research days, it would have been my go-to tool for all my literature review needs. Now the best part about consensus is that most of its features are available for free for you to use, including unlimited searches and unlimited filter options. Only in the case when you want to use the synthesize, co-pilot or study snapshot option too extensively, in that case you'll have to go for their premium plan. Regardless, I've put down the link to consensus in the description below for you to explore. And now, thank you so much for watching this video. After your literature review, if you wish to learn how to write a research paper in detail, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research paper writing. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to watch similar videos on AI tools for research paper, then you can subscribe to this channel because a new video is always coming up. Thank you so much and wish you all the best for your careers ahead.